If you're dreaming of moving to Australia for an unskilled job, it's time to wake up. The reality is that getting visa sponsorship for most unskilled work is nearly impossible in 2024. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my recent videos, you know I've been sharing tons of tips for people wanting to work in Australia. In today's video, I'm talking about unskilled jobs and visa sponsorship. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about whether you can get visa sponsorship for unskilled jobs in Australia. People want to know, can I get a visa to work as a waitress, bartender, cleaner, or farm worker in Australia in 2024. The hard truth is it is extremely difficult to get visa sponsorship for most unskilled jobs in Australia. The government has very strict rules about who is eligible for skilled visa program. Let me explain the reality of visa sponsorship for unskilled work. Rules for skilled visa sponsorship. Here's the deal. Australia's visa system is set up to bring in workers who have skills that are needed in Australia. Most of the long-term work visas require an employer to sponsor you. These employer-sponsored visas are for skilled jobs only. For example, jobs on the skilled occupations list, like nurses, engineers, teachers. Unskilled jobs do not qualify for direct employer sponsorship. The Australian government does this to protect local workers. They don't want to take jobs away from Australians by bringing in sponsored immigrants for unskilled roles. So, jobs like waiters, bartenders, cleaners, construction laborers, and farm workers. No visa sponsorship available. You cannot get long-term residency in Australia on one of these visas if you are in an unskilled job. Options for unskilled workers. Now, I know that sounds discouraging if you want to work in an unskilled job, but don't give up hope yet. There are some visa options for unskilled workers in Australia. Seasonal Worker Program One option is the Seasonal Worker Program. This provides short-term visas for low-skilled jobs in rural Australia doing farm work and hospitality. The program lets overseas workers come to Australia for up to nine months to fill labor shortages in the agriculture industry. Jobs could include fruit picking, packing produce, farming, ranching, etc. You can also get a visa under this program to work temporarily in the hospitality sector in rural areas. For example, jobs like housekeeping, food prep, dishwashing, and waiting tables. The seasonal worker program does not lead to permanent residency, but it's a way to come work in Australia temporarily as an unskilled laborer. Working Holiday Visa Another short-term option is the Working Holiday Visa. This lets you live and work in Australia for up to a year. A working holiday is open to young people from certain countries, usually ages 18 to 30. You aren't tied to one employer. You can do short stints of work with different employers. Lots of backpackers and travelers do farm work, hospitality jobs, or construction on a working holiday visa. These are unskilled jobs. The advantage of these temporary visas, like the working holiday and seasonal worker programs, is that you don't need employer sponsorship. You can look for farm and hospitality jobs yourself once you arrive in Australia. Student visa. Some international students in Australia are allowed to work up to 40 hours per two weeks during term and unlimited limited hours when their course is not in session. This can be a way to gain temporary unskilled work while studying in Australia. But again, a student visa does not lead to permanent residency on its own. You would need to find a path to skilled migration after graduating if you want to immigrate long-term. Skilled work experience. Here's one last potential option if you are set on immigrating permanently to Australia for work. Some young people get a temporary work visa for one to two years, like a working holiday or student visa. They use this time to gain local work experience in Australia. Then they try to transition from an unskilled job into a trade profession or certified occupation. For example, working as a farm hand and then getting qualified as a crop farm man. Once they have skilled work experience, they can qualify for a longer-term visa, like an employer-sponsored visa. This route is still challenging. You need determination to gain professional skills and experience that will make you eligible for permanent residency. But it can be a pathway for the right person. Conclusion I hope this gives you a realistic picture of the visa options for unskilled work in Australia in 2024. I don't want to see you get your hopes of thinking it will be easy to immigrate for an unskilled job. With the right preparation though, you may be able to use one of these pathways I mentioned. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I'm happy to help as you look at your options. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.